All right, got a uh, interesting bit of short theory crafting here today. This is a uh, topic that I kind of heard quickly in passing on Ben's stream, actually not something that I completely came up with on my own. And uh, someone had just mentioned, or he had mentioned, I didn't hear the beginning of the conversation, but the Leash of Oblation unique belt for Necromancers, it lets you have one of each offering, not just having one active at a time. Like, it's always been, I think, a kind of okay item. I don't know if many builds have actually really used it. But uh, this league in particular, I think it kind of gets insane, potentially, because after hearing about it, I said, oh yeah, that item exists. I wonder how far you can push it this league. Because one thing of uh, the new charms from the Affliction League mechanic is... Uh, let me up this one. I thought I had set everything to 30. Boom! We max roll all of the offering effect available from three charms and the unique jewel. You can get a whopping 120% increased offering effect, which if you're now running three offerings instead of one, you're getting way more value out of this. Uh, the results get kind of insane. So this is just a dummy build just to show how much stat value you get and uh, what the skills look like. Three is pretty blank, has the unique jewel, has the offering effect on the tree, has the necromancer node. The necromancer node has 50% reduced offering effect built in, but we're ending up with so much increased that um, I don't know if this shows. I think we're at about 120% increased effect net. Starting at negative 50. Um, and so we have Flesh Offering, Spirit Offering, Bone Offering. Flesh Offerings, Attack, Cast, Move, Speed, Spirit Offerings, Crit Chance, Crit Multi, and Bone Offerings, Block. They are currently turned off. And with all of this set up, which really is not all that much, it's a notable you're going to have anyway. It's a jewel that can be very good anyway, and then you're just using your three charms and a body armor implicit from Exarch. And then you would need like a trigger weapon most likely to trigger all these. Uh, what you are getting, when you turn on Flesh Offering, this baseline is 30% attack cast move speed. You are now gaining 67% attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. Spirit Offering gives 150 crit chance generic and 40% crit multi generic. You are now gaining, we can see in here, if I look at my skill in here, um, my crit chance multiplier is none. My crit multi is base. We have gained 336% crit chance and 89% crit multi from spirit offering. And then uh, this is the fun one. Bone offering gives 35 block, 35 spell block. Um, the character currently doesn't have any block. It doesn't have a tree. It doesn't have anything on. Uh, if I turn on bone offering... I'm now capped block, and I'm actually over capped block on block and spell block from just bone offering with no shield, literally zero block otherwise. Straight up capped block. And all this takes, it feels like not that much, a unique belt, an implicit for your body armor, your charms in a jewel socket, and, and, that, and then a way to cast them. Um, the first obvious thought is to use it to do like a crit detonate dead build so like hit base with crit ch chance scaling and crit multi uh, but just generically I think this is potentially like a very insane combination for maybe a lot of different setups we'll see but just wanted to share it it seems really cool it seems incredibly powerful and uh yeah that's it Thanks for watching.